hey lovely people hi lovely people doing today hope you guys are doing fine it's your sister again give C. you're welcome to give C vlogs so guys today i bring to you another entertainment gist okay and please before i continue my sisters are there okay my ladies are there no matter what you're going through no matter what your what the situation is please i would like you to take it easy on yourself okay just take it one step at a time time they say it heals everything with time everything will be okay everything will be fine please don't be so hard on yourself okay so let's continue guys so today entertainment gist is about a lady called farida a Lagos state socialite and entrepreneur she attempted to end it all by jumping off the third mainland bridge in lagos this happened few weeks ago okay most of you might have heard this story why some of you might might have not heard it also okay according to a report she packed her car at the extension of the third mainland bridge and made an attempt to dive into the lagoon before some Lagosians alighted from their vehicles and helped her imagine those people did not see how to help her imagine those people were not passing maybe the road was dried or something imagine what could have happened to her so the question now is what really happened why did she choose not considering her children because this woman in question she has children she's a mom okay a mom to three adorable kids she also have loved ones that are around her she have family that are around her okay so why did she choose to end it all without putting this her loved ones into consideration most especially her children what really happened let's find out so it was gathered that you know after the negotiations tried to stop her from committing suicide so they started asking her what happened so it was then she started writing to them that she wedded about two months ago not two years ago two months ago and she spent about 100 million naira on her marriage she was the one that she said she was the one that sponsored her marriage with about 100 million naira with another lagos socialite known as demola okay and she said the marriage crashed after two months you know she was so devastated she was so and um, confused she was heartbroken she don't know what to do again you know that's why she attempted to end it all and she also went further to said that her friends and families warned her not to go into the marriage they told her that the man only wanted her money but she could not listen you know she, they, some people said love is blind so she was blindfolded by love she could not see this coming all this why she never knew that the man was after her money according to her okay so in her ways in her ways okay she said it was love that pushed me into this he told me that he was going to be with me make me have children for him i am so sorry for putting my children in such a position i would not have forgiven myself if i had abandoned them after committing suicide thank god you know we thank god that those people were there at the scene to save her we thank god that those people were there at the moment to save her if not this regrets you know how would she how would she have expressed it how would she have you know come back to herself how would how would she have known that what she was trying to do was wrong because sometimes when some situation happen it's good to think before you you know you act if you don't think before you act you will, you will end up regretting after acting so we thank god that some people were there to save her this is what she said you see you see she have come to herself you know but her but her husband demola defended himself by saying that farida was going out with so many men before they got married note this 
he said before they got married not after they got married and my husband even went further to claim that even when she was still with her first husband because she was once married okay that was where she got her three children from okay her present husband went for that to say that even when she was still with her first husband that him the mother was also going out with her so that's why he decided that two months after their marriage that he would not marry her again that he was no longer interested in the marriage so my lovely people how did you see this why didn't he make this decision by not marrying her at all you know he saw all this according to him if his claim was true if what he was saying was true if at all if actually he was not really after her money because he said he's he's rich already that he was not after her money if at all he was not after her money then why did he get married to her you knew her past you knew she was going out with different men he even claimed that she was also going out with his friends you know you knew she was going out with your friends you knew when you do when you dated her earlier that she was with her husband so why did you go ahead to propose to her and you allowed her to plan the wedding with her money with her finance and now you even moved in with her into her house and after two months you said you are not going to marry her again i don't really know how that sounds in the ear let me know in the comment section what is your thoughts about this my beautiful people what is your thoughts you know who are you to blame on this is it the man or the woman but it's obvious it's obvious it's obvious because she did not force him to marry her you know so if the man knew that her past life was not really clean that she was not really living a, de a decent life so what what made him to go ahead to plan a wedding and they got married okay so my beautiful ladies are there my beautiful women are there be it married or we are in a relationship please don't ever don't ever in your life try to make attempt because your partner is hurting you because your heart is broken because your partner is not treating you fine because your partner is maybe cheating on you he's not providing he's not doing what he he ought to do he's abusing you you know verbally emotionally anyway any any way you feel that he's abusing you is not enough reason for you to end your life because if you do this man in question will definitely move on with the next available woman he will not even wait to mourn you he will not wait to mourn you he will just move on with another available woman you know so no man is enough for you to end your life at all no man is enough for you to end your life imagine she even has children she has children. even if she doesn't have children nobody is enough for you to say you are giving up on this life okay don't give up just try to you know put yourself together all this thing is just as a matter of time it will only take time and everything will be okay you will only take time you will get healed so lovely people so let me share this entertainment gist with you people what really happened to a lagos socialite known as farida and let's also learn from this okay that nothing should be enough for us to take our life okay this life we didn't give it to ourselves we can't even give ourselves life so we don't have right to take it okay so if you have watched up to this extent please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like this video share subscribe if you are not subscribed if you are new on this channel if this is your first time please don't make it your last time come back again come to visit again keep supporting us okay and as for my returning subscribers i thank you so much for your love and support i don't take it for granted at all thank you so much for loving me okay see you lovely people in my next video bye